Welcome back to Overheard at Career Education. My name is Denny Doherty, and I work in the Office of Career Education. Today, I have not one, not two, not even three, but four, and actually technically five, which I'll explain in a minute, uh, really awesome guests from the College of Business. So I'm going to go ahead and let them all introduce themselves to you, and then we'll get into some really, uh, really cool matters, just kind of talking about some things they've done, opportunities they've taken advantage of uh, while being students here at Marshall University. So whoever wants to kick us off, uh, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, maybe give us your name and maybe where you're from, and then even uh, you know, even if you have a fun fact or something like that. See, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you jump into it. I'm not gonna be super rigid with this. <laughs> I'll go first here. Um, hello, everyone. First of all, uh, my name's Kane Marone. I'm a marketing and entrepreneurship student at the College of Business. I'm from Canova, West Virginia, so I'm local and uh, really happy to be here today. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, I'll go second. My name is Gabby Cobb, and I'm a healthcare management and business management student in the College of Business. I'm also from Canova, West Virginia, and um, yeah. <laughs> Guess I'll go third. My name is Sydney Wolf. I am an accounting student at Marshall University, um, and I'm originally from a small town in northern Ohio between Cleveland and Columbus, um, Shelby, Ohio, mm -hmm. but my family is from this area, um, so when it was time to choose a school, Marshall was the best fit for me. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you both. Uh, so I'll round up the troops here. Um, <laughs> my name is Joel Kersnerich. Uh I'm a finance, econ, and applied math major here at Marshall. Uh, I'm from the Akron, Ohio area, so okay. LeBron James. Um, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think it's really cool, too, because not only is uh, the local area represented well, but um, so is Ohio. And I, I lived in Ohio for 15 years, so Ohio is very near and dear to my heart. So I love it. I just hope I don't call you Shelby instead of Sydney. So if uh, I do it that, happens all the time. No if, if, no if I do that, um, if you want to throw something at me or something, that, that's fun. Make a face at me. That, that's totally fine. <laughs> no, you're fine. And, and now I did, when I was introducing this, I did say, I did mention a fifth guest. And if you're like, well, what the heck? I only heard four people. Uh, let me see here. Hannah Osborne also really wanted to take part in this, but prior to, uh, there was a prior scheduling conflict, not to mention that due to COVID, we are actually at capacity in the studio as well. However, I reached out to Hannah and she was very gracious and still wanted to be a part of this. So we have some questions that we are going to work through and Hannah actually went ahead and submitted the answers to me and I will be sharing those with you. So that's why, uh, so that's why I promised you five and you only heard four voices. So, so anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and move into a, uh, kind of like a portion here and just kind of get to know get to know our students here a little bit better because again these are wonderful uh, leaders in the College of Business just great students who have taken advantage of some really cool opportunities so I'm really excited to uh, delve into that a little bit more and just get to hear more about that so it's also funny too because it looks like you all basically went in order ge it's geographically speaking with our <laughs> our seating arrangement pretty much so if you want to keep doing that that's fine just whatever whatever you want to do so question number one, uh, why did you choose Marshall? So, um, so I chose Marshall, I think mainly because of uh, family. Uh, mm -hmm. I, my family's all from around here and um, my mom was a majorette at Marshall whenever she was my age. So I think there was a lot of family ties along with it. And mm -hmm. you know, I've, I've grown up around Marshall in the Huntington area. So I think that I, it was just familiar to me and I liked that, so. Awesome, great, great. I'm the same way just because I'm local. Uh, my grandparents went here as high school sweethearts and then my <laughs> mom and my dad uh, met at Marshall in chemistry class and then now my brother and I attend Marshall together. It's just comfortable here and my family leads green. Leads green, family tradition, I like it, I like it. Yeah, I mean family tradition as well uh, for myself. My mm -hmm. Both my parents went here. My grandpa was mayor uh, a little bit I think 08 he was mayor Kim Wolf so I had that Ooh. those ties um, but you know being in Ohio I had a wide variety of colleges in Ohio uh -huh. to choose from mm -hmm. um, my sister actually goes to Ohio State she's a few years older than me and I remember her telling me that she was sitting in a lecture class of around 500 students sure. and I remember her saying that they have a system as far as they're known by like a number and how they pass out tests yeah. <laughs> and I, I knew that that wasn't something um, that I would thrive in it wasn't mm -hmm. an environment that I would uh, do well in so Marshall University was great for me because all the professors know me by name they know my personal story mm -hmm. and uh, cool. they know how I uh, can 
you know, be successful as a student, and that's super important to me. Mm-hmm. That's that's wonderful. I, I love that. And yeah, uh, Ohio State, wonderful school. I respect their work a lot. But when you go to uh, sixty thousand, I think there's more students on campus than there are in Huntington. Oh yeah, so, their their student yeah. rates like sixty thousand right now. It's mm-hmm. absolutely Jeez. crazy. Yeah, so, and they do a lot of things well. But that, sometimes that individual attention just is not something that's going to happen yeah. in a school. That's that something size, I so, yeah, yeah, and that's something I definitely needed in a school. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, I agree with you. So. Um, I knew absolutely no one uh, in Huntington uh, at Marshall. Um, I didn't. I didn't really know anything of Huntington. Um, I had been in West Virginia maybe once or twice, and just driving through, uh, like on a trip. Um, I I applied. I applied early decision for uh, to Oberlin College in mm-hmm. Ohio, and I was declined. And then my next thought was Ohio State because my brother went there and he is maybe the craziest Ohio State fan I've ever met in my life. <laughs> and I was put on the waiting list. Mm. Um, so I, I was like looking around and I, I think I was just trying to make it difficult for my parents and myself financially. <laughs> so, I said, so I said, what are the coolest um, places around Ohio at, but out of state? Uh, mm-hmm. you know just so I could pay the out-of-state tuition <laughs> um, and I, I looked at for West Virginia and WVU and Marshall for mm-hmm. uh, you know the big schools and I and then uh, obviously tuition was great um, I, I wanted to run in college and uh, Marshall's team was good but uh, like not to the level where they would just straight decline me because I wasn't a great uh, high school runner so I showed up took a visit, uh, really liked what I saw, saw the options because I was undecided. So yeah, about 50,000 factors anyway. And then I ran, <laughs> and then I tried to walk onto the team um, and made it on and um, ended up here. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for, you know, thank you for sharing your, your story on that. Now I will tell you, you said that well, your brother was one of the craziest uh, OSU fans. You do know the bar is set pretty high on that. I, I do know <laughs> Ohio State fans are great. They, they tend to be an extreme bunch. They get a little so. crazy. Yes, so that, that bar is set pretty high. Yeah, there's there was there was no watching the games with him because oh. you'd have to walk out and go somewhere else. And <laughs> Fair enough. Ridiculous. Fair enough. <laughs> so let's see here. Hannah Hannah tells us I grew up in Ono, West Virginia, about a 25 minute drive from Marshall's campus, and attended Cabell Midland High School, where it's practically second nature to attend Marshall after graduating high school. I think that's fair. I chose Marshall because it feels like home to me. Also, I did my research and read great things about the College of Business at Marshall. Again, wonderful college uh, within Marshall. Very, very fair. Mm -hmm. So love love your thoughts on that, Hannah. Uh, Question number two. In addition to classes, what have you done here to prepare yourself um, for after graduation? So things like internships, jobs, clubs, service projects. I know you have service projects because I've mm-hmm. worked on one with you. Oh, yeah. So, so just any anything of that nature, I'd love to hear, in addition to your academic coursework, what kind of things have you done to prepare yourselves? Yeah, so um, I think it was my, it was my sophomore year. Um, we had a class with Matt James, who is a guest yesterday. Mm-hmm. You know, shout out Matt. Um, <laughs> but we had a we had a, a class project that was basically, you know, you had to do some type of community service project, but you had to make it up. And um, instead of a food drive, I had this bright idea to do a meal drive instead, which was instead of you know preparing a bunch of food just to take to someone, uh, we basically coordinated a dinner, um, but everything was mm-hmm. was free. So we got donations from places like La Familia, um, Texas Roadhouse, um, trying to think of some other ones we had. Sodexo helped us out too, of course, and um, basically provided dinner for a night to anyone that came for free. And mm-hmm. we ended up feeding over 500 people that wow. night. And um, 250 of them were Huntington City Mission guests. Mm-hmm. So we got to feed a lot of people and, you know, Nobody really went to bed hungry that night, so that was good, oh, and uh, that's kind of what started. And that was that was called Project Feed Huntington, and I, I really just di- I didn't expect it to to go as it went. I I really didn't think that it would be as big as it was, but it turned into like a full class project, and um, then I did it again another year. So um, that's something that I did, but I really think it it was just in preparation just to create something. Um, I really wanted to be able to create, you know, different different organizations and especially when I get out of college that are just going to like bring people together and um, give people good opportunities because you know 
at Marshall, I've had a lot of great opportunities and I want to be able to give that to people as well. So that's kind of my preparation is to, you know, try and make opportunities for others too. And then you'll probably get opportunities on the way. So yeah, that's great. I like that. Yep. Yeah. Reciprocal relationships. I was yeah. trying to emphasize that. That's good. It's yeah. really good. Uh, basically, as soon as I got to Marshall, I just got involved. Mm -hmm. I kind of ran myself ragged a little bit with how much <laughs> I was doing that, but I started by joining the Marshall dance team, and then I joined the Alpha Z Delta sorority, oh, cool. and through both of those, I made so many connections. I got so many opportunities. The first opportunity was um, my friend got us all jobs at Marshall Cafe, mm -hmm. and then I made more connections there. And uh, <laughs> Then I started taking my healthcare management classes and they needed a new president for the organization HELM, Healthcare Executive Leaders of Marshall. And no one was stepping up for president. And I was like, I've never been in the club, but here I am. And I became the president. And um, now I'm just we're just kind of looking for projects and mm -hmm. it's pretty fun. Um, I can get internships through my club and basically I just got super involved and that's how I'm preparing myself for after college. That's that's really incredible, and it sounds like like opportunities kind of beget opportunities. It, it, mm -hmm. It's exponential. So that's that's really cool. I love I love how you talked about that. That's that's awesome. Oh, thank thank you. you. Yeah. So the biggest endeavor that I just took on was I just finished up an internship with Ernst and Young, mm. um, a big four accounting firm, uh, the only big four that we have in the state of West Virginia. Um, their office is located in Charleston. Um, so I did an eight week internship with them as a um, auditor in the auditor office. Um, so during busy season, it was an adventure. I was pulling mm -hmm. about 80, 70 to 80 hours a work week, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> just Yikes. just working with them. <laughs> um, but it was a it was a great exposure and everything Marshall, you know, all my classes that I've taken at Marshall have helped me uh, get to that point. And it was nice to be able to see, uh, you know, be in the professional field and see mm -hmm. how everything actually goes down. You'd be surprised. It sounds like a ton of hours, but, uh, you know, when you're working with a team, mm -hmm. uh, you get to know each other pretty well and you, you start having fun. Uh, we we, we were enjoying ourselves so um, I just got done with that and I'm grateful to say that I have a full-time offer at EY when I graduate so uh, when wow. I'm out of here uh, I will be sitting for my CPA and then after that I'll be working as an auditor for Ernst & Young. Well, Solid. That, that's awesome. That is awesome. Congratulations on getting that Thanks. offer. That's mm -hmm. Anytime especially it will be even before you hit graduation if you have you know companies wanting you that's that's amazing. I think it's a testament to the you know, to brag of Marshall. I think the quality of student that we prepare, and also mm -hmm. a testament to your hard work as well. Yeah. So, so congratulations on yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So my experience was uh, watching Kane lead the uh, <laughs> <laughs> lead the food drive. Um, I just want to say I was in that class with him. Um, but seriously, um, I so <laughs> my first years I didn't. Um, really do much like I got here and I was like okay try to try to get on the, the cross-country team that was my main focus try to just get acclimated to college so I didn't really participate in anything until maybe the end of sophomore year junior year um, okay. and then it's just been like kind of exponential from there um, I I mean there's been some positive and negative ones like um, like I didn't really get an internship until this past summer um, I tried to uh, start up a, a fantasy football club and it sure. didn't, it, it just stalled out. But like positive stuff, I, um, I started talking to I, uh, one of the uh, business college faculty members about, uh, uh, one of my professors about doing a research project. And then after that, I was in connection with a ton of the professors, got mm -hmm. to know them really well. Uh, I'm doing two research projects that are funded cool. this semester. Mm -hmm. I'm That's taking incredible. six classes to uh, complete my um, my majors, and um, I'll actually be like doing a uh, like CLEP exam to get um, two degrees uh, in the business college, mm. and um, and then I'm headed to grad school. I uh, don't know where yet, but down to three schools. So. Um, oh, it's really it's really picked up in the like it's been backloaded to junior and senior year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I just want to touch on what Joel was saying with like the research. Um, I think that especially if there's any you know younger folks listening to this that are like sophomores or freshmen, you know, doing your own research is a really good way to mm -hmm. get involved because 
it also exposes you to you know how to how to research that and how to do that so that's just around like i'm doing an independent study as well this semester and it's a really good experience because you get to try and find something out on your own so just want to throw that in there Oh, absolutely. I think if you're uh, if you're eyeing up grad school, uh, mm -hmm. it's really good. But also, I mean, I've, I don't think I've ever held a job where I haven't had to do it at least informally. Do yeah, some research. some type of yeah. search, something uh -huh. like that. You know, my, my old boss one time we, we had a, a joke, a 1989 model copier that was dying. And one day my project was go research copiers. <laughs> and, and, you know, sometimes it's, it's maybe a little more grueling than that. But just anytime you can, you can do thorough research and maybe write a report if you have mm -hmm. to a recommendation uh, keep track of what you do that's a tremendous huge job. skill it, yeah it huge is. skill it just is. in general and and to add, to add to the the research part too um like because research you know it just it's a, it doesn't just like happen yeah so what okay. i would recommend for anyone is like and this is probably my key takeaway if i had to give any advice for marshall in business college is like sophomore junior year maybe when you're like you know you're really into what you're doing mm -hmm. reach talk to your professors mm -hmm. like actually mm -hmm. communicate with them so important get, yes. get to learn them or like to 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 uh like get an understanding with them mm -hmm. um and just have that communication um just like very you know informal mm -hmm. um student teacher uh communication because then they will give you opportunities yes. like research projects yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I was going to say uh, the biggest thing that I could, you know, tell people that are listening in. Uh, I remember the first day of class, what I'll do is I'll stay after a little bit. And I'm sure that we have all done this. We've stayed after <laughs> and, oh, you yeah. know, just did the spiel of, hey, my name's Sydney Wolf. Uh, I'm an accounting major. This class is super important to me. I just want to let you know that I am, you know, super interested in continuing mm -hmm. my career in this field and I want to be successful. Um so uh, you'll probably be seeing a lot of me um, <laughs> yeah. and uh, office hours. That's the biggest thing. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know how many times I've gone to office hours, not even for help, but just to, you know, sit and have, have a conversation. Yeah. I mean, I've sat with finance professors and had conversations <laughs> about what's going on in, you know, the world or sat with accounting professors and saying, hey, uh, what, what's going on with the new, t you know, tax reform? And they'll <laughs> sit and talk to me about it. Um, and that's the thing that I love about Marshall. There's just so willing to help and yep. you know just have that not even a um you know professor to educate or to uh, you know student but also a almost like a friendship mm -hmm. of they want to see you perform well and, and and they actually care and you know love love you know to to see your success yeah they want to see you be successful mm -hmm. you know yeah. so definitely reach out to your professors like that's a huge huge skill to be able to go in and just talk to your professors and say like i'm interested in this and then you know maybe ask them if they can help you out on something because like they are there to help you so really utilize that for sure i don't know when we got on the advice train but <laughs> no, it, i'm it, glad we hopped on it, it it's, <laughs> no, it, it's good that's one reason we do this uh, any any advice and as we go any continued advice you have for uh and for any students don't don't hold back i mean that's please share as much as you have uh, let's see here. Hannah tells us, uh, she mentions uh, clubs. She's president of the Healthcare Executives Leadership of Marshall, which I believe you talked about also, yeah. Helm, um, the organization 2019 um, uh, to 2020, director of communications for the Center for Public Trust organization. She was a member of the Lewis College of Business Dean Student Advisory Board, mm -hmm. former member of Alpha Kappa Psi, uh, Marshall, Marshall University's oldest business fraternity. Uh, she mentioned jobs. Uh, she's a nationally certified pharmacy technician uh, at Fruth Pharmacy. She's done that for three and a half years. Also a sales associate uh, and a fine jewelry specialist at JCPenney for two and a half years. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Um, <laughs> I mean, jewelry all looks the same to me, but if, if, you, if you know what, it really, it, it all it all looks the same. But if you know your, your way around that, and that's that's cool. That's that's a good mm -hmm. skill. And let's see, internships, summer 2020 internship was with uh, Marshall Health. Um, but due to, she got that, but was not able to actually complete it due to COVID-19, which we, unfortunately, I've e even outside of Marshall, I knew a lot of students. I knew some who actually found some cool opportunities and were able to do them last year, but I knew a lot of people who kind of unfortunately at the 11th hour had internships pulled and stuff like that due to the mm. virus, which just kind of sucks. That sucks. But, yeah, that's yeah. tough. So let's see here. Next, uh, next question is, and I think some of you already touched on this, so if you don't have a whole lot to add, that that's okay. But the next question is, how have the opportunities helped you like make connections, gain skills, and et cetera? And again, if you don't have a lot to say, that's that's fine. So, so the opportunity, like how the opportunities like worked in our favor, kind of. Yeah, is yeah, that exactly. Mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, I think that you know, with the opportunities that we've all talked about, it gives us an experience in something we don't we don't necessarily know yet. Like, 
for example, like independent studies, like I've, you know, like I'm conducting research and I, you know, I've never done that. So just getting that, um, just having that beginner mindset Mm -hmm. and, and being, and having that willing, willingness to learn, I think is super important. So just, just be, just stay curious. And, you know, your professors love to see that too. I can't express enough, like both of the opportunities that I had to work, um, at Marshall, I've worked, I've worked in the, uh, in the college as well as studied in it for the past three years. And both of those jobs came from me being curious and asking my professors things and, you know, just getting my foot in the door. So just be curious. I say that's probably my like biggest advice is just be curious about what you're doing. I like that. It's good. It's good. Yeah. To add, add Kane, I was just going to say, like, I remember, um, we had an opportunity about, um, to, you know, meet the firms Mm -hmm. and that was something, um, you know, that I, that I did. And I, I went in as a marketing major, so I wasn't even an accounting major. Um, I came in as a uh, marketing major and I remember having a professor tell me, you know, I, you're, you're ex- excelling really well in this. And it was Professor Amanda Thompson Abbott. Shout out mm-hmm. to Amanda Thompson. Oh, yeah, she's, she's the good. best. She's yeah. good. She's um, good. But we went around and she was like, you need to join this, do this opportunity of meeting the firm. So we went around to, you know, Huntington and I met with Ernst & Young, which now I'm going to work at um, yeah. Ernst & Young and DHG and all these local firms. And uh, that was one opportunity. And it made me realize that accounting accounting wasn't what I thought it was you know when you think accounting you're thinking you know a bunch of old men sitting punching numbers <laughs> into a calculator <laughs> and I went and I remember going uh and you know seeing all these young people in this super you know modern um workspace and I thought man this is this is something I can get behind mm. but I remember at the time I was like no I mean I'm not smart enough for this I'm not good enough for this mm. um and the professors you know pulled me aside and they were like no you are and you can do it and I stayed in it and <laughs> now look at me, you know, I'm about That's ready good. to leave and I'm actually going to have a job in it. So, um, yeah, like Kane said, just the opportunities and always being curious and, mm-hmm. you know, I would have never went on that trip if the professor didn't tell me to do it and I did it. And now look at you. Yeah, yeah, it worked in my start. favor. <laughs> That's, in- That's incredible. And I, I think this backs exactly um, what everyone's been saying, but the more you try to do okay i'm not even saying the more you do the more like output you make but the more you try to do the more connections you're going to make mm-hmm. the more up doors you're going to open um and if if you view life kind of if you view the things in life that you do as like applications um so example even even something that's not school related like like running um i've um, i've built up almost an application for that by running so maybe i could you know contact my coaches and say hey i'd I'd like to do this in the future i'd like to coach or something so whatever you do you're building up your application by just trying to do whatever Mm -hmm. it is that you're interested in Mm -hmm. that's that's really good and and uh, i think i think you'd mentioned something previously was a fantasy football club you said kind of didn't uh it kind of didn't go as planned or something like that oh yeah we had like three members and Mm -hmm. we would it would like never be the same people on the same day so it would be me and one other person every day always rotating yeah i i can tell you about clubs too i've i started uh i tried to start up a a club and it's it's actually like the opposite of how joel's i mean i i don't want to consider it a failure because i think i learned a lot like even trying to create a club but um so i started a club called the fun club and um this was a a very different approach i think just because there was no obligations no dues and no requirements because i noticed that with the the social clubs that were on campus that was like some of the things that they you know like had people have to do like you know you've got to pay to be in this you've got to you know do this and do that and i really didn't like that approach so um even though I didn't like the approach and was trying to, you know, approach, approach it differently, it kind of backfired because, you know, then no one has any required to do this or they don't, they're not obliged to do anything. So, you know, it kind of put a lot of pressure on me to do stuff. But what was crazy was, you know, when I first started it, we got like over like 250 people to sign up and it was like, holy moly, like this is a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it was incredibly overwhelming just because like, I didn't have any structure, you know what I mean? Like there was, there was, it was me and whoever showed up to that meeting, but like, you know, somebody wanted to do this event, somebody wanted to do this event. And it just got so crazy that like, it really, even if, even if it fails, even if you start a club up and fail, like you learn so much from that Mm, and just lick your wounds and get back up, you know, like I'll still create things, but like, it just won't be as, 
non-structured as that. So right. yeah, absolutely. And if nothing else, too, again, you you make connections. If you make, if you make mm -hmm. connections with people, oh, yeah. you learn something. How really? How can you call it a failure? Right. Yeah. You know, it's still there, there's a difference between that and then maybe it didn't have the exact outcome I wanted. But hey, I still got some great stuff out mm -hmm. of it. So and I think like any connections you can make are just important because like my connections just kind of got better as I like got through school. Like it started with just these girls telling me like what they're doing because I started in nursing and mm -hmm. I don't do that. I can't. I, can't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I think that I can be kind of nurturing, like you know, that's why I wanted to do it. But I don't do bodily fluids, so <laughs> I joined the college of business, and um, I like it even more. And so these girls just kind of like told me about it, like their healthcare management and just business in general. And then it just went to like a, was in my sorority and the older girls would tutor me for free. And I'd say, that's a great connection. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and for then sure. Um, it started with, and then I went to my professor. He's my supervisor for Helm. And, um, and now he and I just kind of text each other, call each other like on like Saturday night. I mean, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just think the connections just get better and better. So it's many mm -hmm. conne yeah. connections you can make. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, I think that the, the no matter how big the connection is, it's, it's super important because you never know what that like, that super loose connection that you might have just, you know, connected with them on, you know, on a, on a quick meeting or, you know, you just mentioned yourself like they know they might have an idea of who you are. And now, you know, you can put your foot in the door if you need to. Mm -hmm. So just introducing yourself and just that base level connection is very important. Yeah. It, it is connections are so important and sometimes I, uh, I break out uh, shocking statistics for students too. things like did you know that uh, estimated up to like 80% of jobs are not posted anywhere online and mm -hmm. some a lot of people know that some people have never heard that before now if they're not posted what we'll never know I mean how, how do you quantify it but it, it's it's enough to say it, at the very minimum a large chunk of the opportunities out there aren't posted and furthermore if they're not posted how are they filled through networking through yeah. I know a person. Mm -hmm. Yep, I know a so, guy, mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Let's see here. Um, Hannah said, these opportunities have helped me gain excellent leadership, communication, and time management skills. Oh, that's a whole other rabbit trail I can oh, talk about yeah. and how I need to work on that. <laughs> that's, a whole, that's a whole podcast right there, to be honest. Uh, she said, being involved in organizations on campus has helped me form connections and make new, thr new, new friends. Sorry. Uh, working as a pharmacy technician has given me experience in billing and insur with insurance companies, contacting providers, which will be beneficial for future careers career in healthcare administration, working in sales, taught me about marketing, profitability of an organization, and forming customer relationships. So a little, a little bit of everything right there. Again, really, really good experience. Mm -hmm. So for the last one, I'm actually going to combine the two because I think I think both of them, the answers may be relatively short. So I'm going to, I'm just going to roll them together. So it's going to be a two part. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your future plans and what advice do you have for Marshall students? Just any general advice at all. I know, I know, again, some of you have already touched on this a little bit. So, so lay it on me, your future plans and just any other words of advice you might have for students. Oh, geez. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, you know, I, there's so many things that I want to do. It's hard to even, you know, designate, designate it to one path. But I think that in general, I just want to, you know, create businesses that bring a lot of value to people. Mm -hmm. um, that's, you know, I've, I've studied marketing and entrepreneurship the past four years, and uh, I'm really looking forward to, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to graduating, not, you know, not necessarily because it, I'm tired of school and that, but like the free time that I have now to put what I've, you know, studied into app and apply that I think is going to be really incredible. So really my future plans are just to, you know, be a serial entrepreneur. I just want to, mm -hmm. you like know, that. have a lot of different businesses and, um, you know, give people the opportunity, you know, like if I, if I start a business that's, you know, I can, you know, involve students from Marshall that can intern and, and get experience like, you know, I did whenever I was in school, like I want to be able to do that. So I think really just creating businesses, um, in general, that's, that's kind of my future plan. That's great. I love it. Yeah. Love it. I'd say that my future plans are kind of just all over the place because I'm still deciding. <laughs> <a little> <laughs> yeah. I know that I'm either going to master here at Marshall in mm -hmm. healthcare administration or finance, but um, I might have an actual decision after I do my healthcare management internship this summer, see if, like where I want to go. But I know that I am going to teach dance because I'm minoring in dance. I'll do that on the side. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I kind of already talked about my future goals. Uh, 
I'm going to be an auditor, so <laughs> just making sure that companies uh, stay in line. No, um, She's going to be checking me one day. Yeah, yeah, like, hey, yeah, Kane, I'm hey, Kane him. listen, uh, man, actually, what's, what's going on with this tax? Is there yeah. I need There's uh, connections coming to play yes, right Yes, these connections, yeah. Kane. I'll have yeah. to, you can call me up, too. Uh, yes, yes. But, no, I, I mean, I, that, that, that's my goal now, and it, it's fantastic. It takes the weight off, you know, of me being able to, you know, graduate knowing that I'll have a, a job, but... Um, you know, honestly, I, I can't say that that's what I'm going to stay in forever. I mean, right. I would love to do that. I'd love to do project management, um, you know, maybe even, you know, be a partner someday. That would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, as far as what I have to set tell Marshall students in any advice um, finishing up is just, like I said, don't sell yourself short. Yeah. Don't think that you can't do something because maybe you had a bad teacher in high school who said oh you're not very good at math or mm -hmm. maybe you yes. failed a math test like that happened to me you know I, I i had you know some issues in high school with math and i thought man accountants all math i can't i can't do this <laughs> um so I, I sold myself short i thought that i couldn't do something and uh just getting yourself out of that mindset um and you know making sure you know all your connections kind of everything that we've talked about um that's just how you succeed at marshall and mm -hmm. you know i think all four of us have had you know, as we're finishing up our careers here, can look back and say, I did it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you have a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forgot to tell my advice, but going up what Sydney said, um, definitely make connections. That's my advice. Get involved. Don't run yourself ragged like I did. Get involved. Make those connections. <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, I feel like we could go pretty deep in on the advice part, too. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but giving my future plans, um, so I, I, I touched into it uh, a little bit before, but immediate plans, I, I have an internship for the summer, um, it's like a virtual one with NASA, and I recently got that. Um, so Wait, did you say NASA? NASA! That's awesome. <laughs> We're all sitting here. Are you going to space right now? They're actually, they're, honestly, okay, I don't know. Are you an astronaut, Joel? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish. I will tell, okay, here's my, here's my advice. <clears throat> I have gotten rejected from tons and tons of internships, mm -hmm. from just applying and getting that email we regret to inform you. Mm -hmm. Okay, which which all right, little little sidebar. Okay, I don't. I hate those. I regret to inform you emails. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't regret it if you regretted it. Then you would accept me. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I, rephrase that. Anyway, okay, sidebar out. Um, <laughs> unless anyone wants to add to that. That's good. That's good. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, Na NASA, there, NASA has a ton of internships that you can apply to in a bunch of different fields, like especially mm -hmm. business. Um, and I've gotten two with all the rejections I've gotten. I've gotten called by them uh, for or emailed about a possible uh, summer internship twice mm -hmm. out of applying twice. Wow. So they're they're very. Um, like I don't want to say they're easy to get, but like, it's a it's a good opportunity to go for. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm doing that in the summer, and then grad school, I I'm I'm going between um, it's three told three different programs. Um, uh, one's Penn State, and it would be a, a master's in business analytics. One's Miami mm -hmm. Miami of Ohio, and it would be master's of economics, and then Case Western in Ohio. Mm -hmm and it would be an MBA program. And that would all be like a year or two. Mm -hmm. And then um, beyond that, I really don't know, okay. honestly. The great unknown. That's, yeah. that's kind of the theme. I it's think that, that kind of, I, I, I didn't get to throw on any advice, um, but it kind of leads into what I was thinking advice-wise is like, don't be afraid if you don't know like what you want to do because, you know, I, we could all graduate college and figure out that this is not what we want to do and completely do something else. So I think that adaptability mm -hmm. is super important. And then lastly, I think that um, as important as it is to, you know, join clubs and interact and network with people and, you know, get connected in that way. Also, I think it's just as important to do your own thing, you know, um, try and create that club, you know, like, like Joel tried to create the fantasy football club. Like that is an incredible experience, regardless of if it's successful or not, you know, fun club. Like it was a great experience regardless of if it's is successful or not so i think that you know just trying just trying something new is super important but you know connect with people too of course but you know i think that you should definitely try and do your own thing in the meantime that's, that's good and, and my advice for starting up a club would be if it's 90 degrees out and you're setting up a table don't get chocolate 
Don't get chocolate. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. don't get chocolate. Oh. It, it all melted. Oh. <laughs> uh, see, these things they make they make funny stories now, but at the time you're probably like oh, this, all this chocolate all sweating. over the table. Oh, I was yeah. stressed Dude, and <laughs> sweating. Oh my and gosh. Nervous. <laughs> Looking back on the things that like stress you out too is just like so ridiculous like you'll be like oh my god all that chocolate melted and you're like what? like what does it even matter you know, I, like i'm currently super stressed about the semester and yeah it matters but it also is not going to matter at all in yeah like a, mm-hmm. a, a few weeks yeah i'll be totally yeah. over it so <laughs> that's good. crazy that's good and matt and i touched on that a little bit the podcast i'm probably very soon going to be releasing it. i'm still cleaning up a little bit the mm-hmm. one we recorded yesterday we talked about how it's been a it's been a crazy year it's been a crazy semester and uh complicated by weather events which are a lot worse when there's a lot more online schooling going on so so yeah just persistence and just and, and kind of like what joel was talking about maybe not having a, a ton of uh like, like beyond grad school maybe not having it nailed down to a t the way you apply for stuff and put yourself out there you you will find great things great things mm-hmm. will will happen even if you don't know what they are yet i just i'm convinced that, that they will so so let's see here. Hannah Osborne, uh, I'm going to combine those two things too. Um, future plans and advice. She said she's currently in Marshall's 3 plus 2 program, which allows her to take nine hours of graduate classes while still undergrad. Um, graduating with a bachelor's degree in May, then she's going to continue classes in Marshall's healthcare administration master's program, uh, then wants to be a hospital administrator. Wonderful goal. Mm-hmm. Advice she has is to prior- prioritize school at the top of your to-do list as your future self will thank you. And that's true. There yeah. were times where it was on my priority list, maybe not as high as it should have been. So that's mm-hmm. that's good advice. Also, the combination of balancing school, work, and extracurricular activities can take its toll on you mentally, emotionally, physically, etc. Uh, try your best to get enough sleep. Don't be afraid to take advantage of counseling if you have to or mm-hmm. other resources here at the university. And, and those are, I mean, the thing is, too, if there's resources, there's people here that, that love you and care about you, want, want you to do well. Not to mention, you already paid for them. Yeah, <laughs> So yeah. if there's no other thing that gets you there, you've already paid for these services to so take yeah. advantage of them. <laughs> so good, good advice. Um, does anyone have any because I was going to say we're probably kind of close to time here but does anyone have any like 15 20 second final thoughts for us mm-hmm. I think the best advice I've gotten is to apply for NASA right after this yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going to go be an astronaut shoot, I might yeah. go do that I'm that's my plan <laughs> oh it's cool yeah it, it seems pretty cool so wonderful well hey i want to thank all of you so much i know again it's a busy time in the semester it's been a crazy semester and you know just taking time out not just to come here and record this with me today but i know there was i actually sent the questions out to everyone who participated today but that was pre-ice storm so you know but at some point they looked at this and they prepared for it and and just their, their willingness to not only you know help me with this departmental project but even more importantly uh to, to just uh, show up here and uh, give advice to um to, to other students here at Marshall, I think just just means a lot, and I think all of you are, are headed very uh, very bright places. I'm just uh, I'm just eager to see what uh, what happens. Of course, this will be on our uh, YouTube channel. So if five ten years down the road, yeah, you're in space or you know running running a you know huge company or just you know yeah, auditing I'm auditing uh, Kane's the, business yeah, yeah. here in a few years. I got, I got an account ready for me. <laughs> so, but whatever it is you get into, yeah, I may just comment on the video and say, hey, I remember the day we recorded this. Look where I'm at now because I'm, I'm eager to hear those. I'm eager to hear those stories. So I just want to thank all of you. And I was telling Kane too. I also want to, I've not done this yet. I'm really remiss in not doing this yet. I want to, I just want to give a, a shout out to uh, WMUL. Uh, we've been using their studio since we started this. And this is podcast something like number 15 or something like that. Uh, we've done a number of these and, and WMUL, uh, uh, a number of people over here, including Mike Stanley, the uh, station manager, have been very uh, gracious, very uh, welcoming to me. I've, I've had a ton of questions like I usually do sometimes because I just overlook something and do something stupid but it doesn't matter because mike's always been there and has always uh helped and just been a, a wonderful resource and i just uh i think dr bailey's instrumental over here to studio too so i just want to thank everyone who's a part of wmul we could not do this without you and we appreciate you so much so just thank you for that i also just want to thank everyone who joined us today to listen to this podcast and we hope you will join us next time 